mostly think of our tears in emotional terms. Tears may flow freely in times of joy or sadness. They are a part of our human expression. Tears also flow if our eyes are irritated, but the scientific side of tears is much more complex. Tears lubricate our eyes and make it possible to see the world clearly. When you blink, a tear film spreads over the eye, making the surface smooth and clear. This film is made up of three distinct layers. The outermost layer is oily. Next, the watery layer makes up most of what we think of as tears. Finally, a layer of mucus helps the watery layer spread evenly over the surface of the eye. Each of these three distinct layers is necessary in order for the tear film to adequately lubricate our eyes. When tears are doing their job, we hardly think of them. But if our eyes don't produce the correct quality or quantity of tears, we then begin to develop symptoms such as stinging, burning, scratchiness, irritation, itching, and even excessive tearing. In general, we call this condition dry eye, and it affects many people, particularly as they get older. Women after menopause are more susceptible to this condition due to a decrease in the oil and mucus layer of the tear film. Some systemic or oral medications may also cause dry eye symptoms as a side effect. If you suspect you have dry eye, you should speak with your ophthalmologist. He or she will perform an eye exam and may recommend dry eye tests that can measure tear quality and production as well as look for signs of dryness across the surface of the eye. Fortunately, there are treatments for dry eye. These include using specialized eye drops called artificial tears to lubricate the eyes or other eye drops to restore the tear film quality. Conserving tears by closing small channels in the lids in order to prevent tears from draining into the nose. Preventing tear evaporation by adding humidity to dry environments. Avoiding overly warm rooms, hair dryers, and smoking. Also, avoid spending prolonged periods in the wind. For treating scratchy eyes when waking, your ophthalmologist may recommend a special artificial tear ointment or thick eye drops at bedtime. Dry eye is a very common problem. Talk with your ophthalmologist if you're experiencing the symptoms of dry eye.